Hi Stafford, how are you? Playing in the title Tuesday. I might blunder something. Now we get the C5 square.
Yeah, that was a little bit cheap, but I mean, advantage for white, yeah. Highly on beast, high pole. What's up? Searching for my missing chocolate. Oh. My god, this was a good chocolate. Mm. This was really good chocolate. With some uh, hazelnuts. I think I'm developing a sweet tooth for the milk chocolate with hazelnuts. Alright, those bells, yeah? You guys can absolutely hear them, of course. Alright, so let's see where I could have played better, because at some point I thought I had a big advantage. And then I let it slip. So, the, this moment, this, this should be interesting. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he should have taken with the rook, probably. Yeah. After queen c5 advantage, white, obviously. Bishop d3, yeah. Okay, maybe. Yeah, but this is very comfortable advantage to white. Bishop f5, yeah, he had to play. Ah, queen b4. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this looks completely winning, so I need to bring my king to d4, yeah? Okay. So this h3 was not that great. I was concerned about this queen g4. Yeah, but there is obviously queen e8 check, <coughs> so he has to go back, yeah? Okay. So that was a mistake, h3, queen d4. Still king e3, right? Gotta be brave. Missing bishop takes g6, okay. F5, very strong, yeah. My god. I missed so many things here. Yeah. If he takes, I play king f3 and then take on f4, but this is equal. Alright. Um. Hello, Mr. Tender Cat from Russia. Jill, thank you so much. Doesn't look familiar. Guys, just a reminder that we have the um, we have the stream battle this Saturday, and all of you can play, but only top twenty scores will be kept. All right. So you will be competing for the best score on the team. Hopefully you can make it on Saturday. Alright. This guy is uh, from Romania. Alright. Yeah, this is my specialty now. Very interesting move. White has a forced draw, but then again, who wants to make a draw with white and force it, yeah? I think a5 is more accurate than e5. Because, um, I mean, the inclusion of these moves should be favor um, favorable to black. Who are we playing? We're playing a whole bunch of other streamers, all right? It's a tournament of 10 streaming teams, guys. It's 10, 10 streamers versus 10 streamers and their teams. Unlimited number of uh, fans can play. So, uh, you know. Feel free to come and play. I don't know, why is he giving me this pawn? It's 
kind of free pawn, right? It's kind of very strange, but okay, I will take it because we are the pawn grabbers. What time? It is at uh, 10 p.m. It's a 10 p.m. Um, whatever time it is. Well, here's a pawn down with no compensation. I would say this should be theoretically BBGG, but uh, let's see. Let's see if I make any errors in exploiting my advantage. I've been known to blunder things. 10 p.m. St. Petersburg, uh, Fran France time, guys, France time. Um, whatever it is, uh, I think it's uh, High Andromeda. Yeah, I sent a message to all uh, the club members uh, for this. So, again, top 20 scores will count. All right, so just, you know, keep that in mind. Not everybody will be, not everyone's score will be counted, but I think if we can get 20 people to come and join the battle, you be, will be playing nine. Uh, you will be playing all the people from nine other stream teams. Okay, I think you guys know the link. So uh, it should be fun. Yeah, that's the key word is to have fun. Well, we have pawn majority, so we have to push these pawns, right? Because pawn majority must. Uh, Make it felt. That's correct. You have the weakness on b2, sir. And you also have potential weakness on c4. I mean, I'm not even talking about just uh, putting my knight on the, somewhere there, yeah? I mean, it should be pretty obvious it's completely winning. All right. Um, so just, you know, improve position. Don't have to be the direct attack on the king. It could be positional matter with this uh, weakness on b2. Alright. Yeah, but he just blundered the central pawn, my god, yeah? What a gift. Look at this. He just played bishop e3 and you gave you a central pawn. I mean, come on. And he's an FM with 2500 FM. I guess things like that happen, yeah? So let's see who is playing. Let me make this music a little bit less loud. Oh, my voice is uh, probably too low, yeah? So, I'll incre increase the volume. So, the usual suspects, Alexei Shirov, uh, Peter Svidler, Zhigalko is actually in one of the stream teams on Lee Chess in the battle. The battle is uh, this Saturday. I'll show you the link, gentlemen. It's this tournament and um, arena. And it's the uh, stream streamers battle. This one, as you can see, we're gonna play against Chess Network. We're gonna play against Jigalgo, Sergey, and friends. We're gonna be playing against Kings Crusher, YouTube and Twitch fans. We'll be playing against uh, Shatranj uh, television team. There is uh, our team of pawn grabbers. There is Fiona's Fight Club. There is uh, Cloud Nine. Ray Robson fans, Crass Book, and uh, one more team will be. Uh, um, Announced uh, soon, probably. And that's who we have. Ah, so we already have people. Uh, oh, you can you can join already, guys. You can join. You can join this. Um, you can join the uh, the team. Let me put it here. I should probably put it into the uh, um, the stream. Yeah, information. So let me do that. Uh, let me do that. Create a dashboard. Okay. Well, well. Wrong. Title Tuesday. 
uh, leechs.org stream battle Saturday. Uh, what? Not enough space? How, my, how, how much space is this? Let's pull back 30 letters, yeah. All right, let's uh, just make it shorter. TT, yeah. It's TT. Everybody knows what TT is. And it's not what do you think. Uh, okay, chess, com TV, but also we have this, right? Okay, perfect. All right. So now you guys can join this uh, this tournament. So already 156 players. My God, so many Zhigalko and Sergey and friends there. Uh, chess network, okay. Yeah, guys, you can start joining because um, we have Vlad. Yeah, because they, I think we are uh, uh, outmatched so far, but okay, let's see it. Yeah. All right, so we need, uh, we need, uh, we need, uh, yeah, we need to make, uh, I'm going to make a letter so you people can join. Uh, pawn grabbers. Guys, you can already join the stream battle uh, team roster for the Saturday. Good luck. Okay. So hopefully that will mobilize our folks. Round two is still ah the 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 real Leon Beast is here playing on chess.com. Mr. Leon Beast. Will the real Leon Beast please stand up? Yeah. Who can join? Anybody can join. Anybody can join. This is like uh, free stuff. You can you can join. Uh, I think anybody can join. Uh. I think, uh, yeah, stream battle. Today, today is just a uh, title Tuesday. Uh, today is nothing, or today is the title Tuesday. I'm just playing uh, in the title Tuesday, and I'm decided to stream. Um, we can probably do some free play today. I can play you guys uh, for an hour after the title Tuesday. That's fine. So. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna play uh, everyone today, probably, yeah? Because uh, we I haven't done that in a long time. We can also look at some games, right? We probably... First, first we're gonna look at some games from uh, Norway tournament, yeah? And then uh, then we can play. Yeah, because I think you'll be... Uh, I think some of you like the commentary on the, on the games, yeah? I'll try to explain some concepts. Chess yes, Weebles rating with a party of 4059. Thank you so much. I'm, su I'm surprised you're not playing in the title Tuesday. Hopefully you are. Um, but thank you for the raid. Um, hi guys. Everyone who came with Chess Weeb team. Thank you so much for the raid. And I'm now playing in the title Tuesday. And uh, I hope your boss is also playing in the title Tuesday. And um, hopefully you guys can also uh, get on this uh, chess streamer battle roster because uh, they still are missing one team. But I don't know who, who the organizers decide to put in, but it will be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should actually, you know, yeah, okay, but uh, they decide. Linden list I don't know about the Linden, but if you change the second uh, Y to O, it's a perfect opening for you, sir. London system, right? London system versus Linden list. Nice. Sounds good. Hi from London. Hello. All right. Hello from uh, France. Yeah. I feel so silly, you know, but uh, you know, I'm now French. Potentially, still potentially, yeah, not not quite officially yet. I need to apply for the national long-term visa, and then I'll feel like I'm more Frenchy. Hmm. All right, let's finish the development. All right, rookie one. 
This is all pretty standard. Rook e8, a5, b5, c4. Everybody knows this. Yeah. All right, so this is considered to be slightly better for white, this line. Slightly better for whites. Why? Because the pressure on the a6 and d6 pawn is uh, is uh, pretty intense. And white has slightly more active pieces. So let's see what my Israeli friend here, opponent, says about this line. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. All right. This I have never looked before, actually. This is the first time somebody plays this move against me. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know. First time I see this stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the queen back. Queen g3 is actually very, very, very interesting, but um, rook b3 looks very interesting, but also, of course, uh, I don't know. My god, I have no idea. Alright, let's play queen d1 back. I don't like my rooks being discoordinated, so. Um, I think the queen needs to be on the first uh, line, actually. So it supports my rooks. Because rooks need all the love you can give them. Knight b6 looks a little bit strange. Bishop c2 looks interesting though, but um, I don't know. b4 looks very interesting as well, yeah. Actually, let's try b4. I kind of like b4 here. Sort of we're pushing this weak pawn together. Planning for go for rook b7, I guess. Yeah. I play knight d2, that um, alleviates the pressure. Um, I think I miscalculated this one. But okay, we'll see. Because I have knight c4, yeah? And I can still play this move. I don't have to play a6 immediately. I mean, I would have preferred the bishop on f1 and then knight c4, but I don't think I have a tempo for that. Yeah, it's com it's complicated position. It's not something you know to sneeze at. I mean, it's not easy to play this, but I think white should be better overall. Again, because of the pair of bishops, potentially strong a pass pawn. Yeah, it's trying to hammer me in here. Maybe good idea. I don't know. Maybe decent idea. Um, bishop c6. Interesting. I need to push my a pawn. 
<clears throat> oh, but I'm missing 94 at some point, yeah. Yeah, right, that's not good. Yeah, 94 that I plundered. Yeah. And he's very quick about it, yeah? He sees it immediately. Good eye. My god. Mm, don't want to play bishop h2 at all. Uh, okay, but I don't have a choice. He just gave me this. For what reason? Mm. Ah, my time. That's, that's a good reason enough. I agree. Yeah, but I take your opponent f7. That's kind of more dangerous, yeah. Okay, that works. Um, kind of a strange game. Um, no, no, no. Arsenal fan reach? No, no, I, it, it doesn't. I just want to warn people in advance because there are some newer players, not necessarily you. And they might be tempted because it's a stream battle to score as many points as they want, yeah? So, uh, just warning people in general. Don't take it personally. I don't mean any of you. But just, you know, just be very careful about even considering something like that. Okay? So, um, the resolution of videos seems to be a little bit off. Okay, let me see what I can do about it. Uh, the outputs. Okay. I lowered it, so hopefully it works better. Yeah, I'm sorry about the resolution because the the quality of uh, the cable here, it's not even cables, DSL. It's not that great. So I apologize for that. Greetings. Uh, queen b5, one opponent, on move 37. Let's see it. I want to, I, I want to, yeah. Usually I'd like to analyze my games after the game. Okay, so we see this position, standard. Rook, bishop f3, I've never seen before. Okay, 84% accuracy for this guy is not bad. Okay, so bishop g3 immediately and then b4. But okay, b4 is very difficult. It's a very difficult move because, uh, yeah, it is difficult to make, obviously, because I didn't see rook b1. But b4 is incredibly strong, yes. And you get the same idea. You get rook b3 and rook b1. And, and uh, your pieces are ideally poised and then b5 and rook b5, right? And basically, basically, that's how you get what I wanted to get, but I didn't know how to get it. And uh, this is the advantage, of course, for white. Bishop g3, knight 7 f6 probably, at some point you want to play bishop h4, king g7, and then probably b5 you can play, I think you can play, and uh, but then your advantage is, yeah, still small advantage to white, I mean you don't have to play it, bishop g5 is very interesting, because you manage to put your bishop on this diagonal finally, yeah, from this diagonal you put the bishop to this diagonal, so it's probably advantage white, I agree. It was tricky, yeah? Queen d1, still not bad. Uh, queen b1, I didn't like much, but I think it was pretty okay. Queen d7. And here I was torn about knight b6, I wasn't sure about it. Yeah, but uh, I'm looking at it right now, and okay, so we have second game, right? And then a b6. Probably advantage white, I should have gone this way. Alright, but uh, you know, this is the important line. If you play London system, this is more or less forced line. So you gotta you, you gotta analyze this, okay? If you're playing London system, this is one line which you must know, and you must uh, feel it, and you must analyze it, and you must uh, practice it and play it, and uh, 
you know, because this is like basically forced stuff. Um, after 97, the problem is that uh, you have the square on b6 and uh, he needs to keep a control over that square. Otherwise, you're just gonna bring your pieces there, right? Because your second knight on f3, he goes to d2 and c4 supports the other knight on b6. And as you can see, if you get the pawn on b6, it's not uh, actually quite clear how uh, to uh, deal with it for black. Uh, because uh, you can easily support it. And uh, he still has to worry about the pawn on d6, yeah? So, again, I think in general that position is uh, advantageous for, for, uh, for white, yeah? But it's not easy to play, that's for sure. That is uh, for sure, guys. And like said, Lack wrote in his book, the better player wins... Um, the better player wins such positions because uh, he is uh, simply stronger or understands better or, you know, has more experience. All right, how are we going to deal with the situation where white is just going to push, 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 push his stuff, yeah? I don't know. Let's play knight e7. Um, and I think we should just play f5 here and not worry about knight g5. My god. Fm. Now we know this FM is definitely playing by himself because, uh, I mean, the guy is just blundering pawn on F2, yeah? I mean, H3 is pretty standard in such positions. I have no idea why he didn't play H3. I have no idea, guys. Um, okay. Against the Karkhan, uh, knight c3, g4, knight g2. Yes, that is something that I played as a kid, all right? So I think that system is perfectly playable, sure. Alright, let's play h6, cover the square. Then we're ready to rumble, yeah. Um, t6 maybe, maybe king first, somewhere h7, no, I don't like Alright, let's just start trading because we have extra exchange, okay? With an extra exchange, it's so nice to play. We just trade stuff and win. That's basically it. Uh, C6 is playable, probably. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's kind of very strange. Um, he's allowing me everything. Yeah, E4, Bishop B2, everything. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I don't think uh, he is, uh, he's playing for real. I think he's just having fun or something. Um, I don't know, rook f7, just protect this thing. If he takes on f5, then you should probably take with the... Um, um, okay, I don't know, 96 looks okay. Yeah, I, I, in general, I like to take with the knight, okay, because uh, I like to keep the uh, rook file open for the rook and potentially on the square for pieces there. Okay, hold on a second, what's going on here? Hmm. This guy is trying to out -tact tactic me, yeah. Just try not to blunder any mates. So we got an extra rook, which is nice. Probably should be enough to win. <clears throat> In general, should be sufficient. Um. Yeah, that was that was creative. I agree. Yeah, this this is a very creative guy. Ninety five and uh, some threats uh, looming in. Yeah. 
All right, so let's grab this. I should probably just start mating him. Check. Okay. All right, but let's go to the previous game, okay? Because that was the key game in the London system. And the, because the guy didn't play so badly, yeah? All right, so we are in this position. And here would be three with idea of knight b6. And as I was talking about, that pawn on b6 is notoriously difficult for black to get rid of. But b4 is also okay, so I played okay move. And here I suspected that knight a3 would be good. I suspected because the knight promotes the b5 thing, right? You guys see the evaluation, it's uh, 0.57. It's very difficult for black to do something because the moment he plays rook b7, you just uh, push, you just shove this thing, yeah, and uh, and that, that pawn is extremely dangerous. So he cannot play rook a, b7, but without the light squared bishop, it's very difficult for black to protect this. If he plays something like knight c7, I mean, you can still push it, yeah? That's the problem. So the whole idea is you have pair of bishops looking at the queen side where you have potential pawn majority, and your idea is to push this b5 thing and create the pass pawn here. So yes, you have this weak pawn on d4, but he has no active pieces to use this to his advantage. All right, so I played knight d2, and immediately the computer says it's not so great, yeah? He played g6, I played b5, normal, queen d8, and now I played knight c4, but I was worried if I play a6, he'll play knight c7. Okay, I did not see rook c6. That is obviously the strongest move here, and it's very strong because it protects, and the rook on the 6 is very strong, yeah? I did not see this move. And of course, I thought that he can grab this pawn, but apparently I was wrong because because the rook b8 at the end, yeah? Okay, so he cannot really grab this pawn. So you see, this is already plus 1. See how, how, diff how, how much difference a single move makes? Huge difference. So I played knight c4, I tried to be safe, still advantage to white, yeah? I was worried about knight h5 here, but uh, bishop c6 was okay. So what did he play? He played h5, and this was bad move. Yeah, this was bad move, I should have played bishop c6 immediately. Because now he played knight e4, and you see the evaluation now, black is better. See, one mistake on your part, and it's already the other side gets the advantage. And that's what happened. I like this line. I did not see this line, obviously, but this is beautiful line, yeah? It looks like I trapped his queen, but then he comes up with the knight d2 and knight f1, yeah? And it's amazing, but it looks like a draw. <laughs> well, standard uh, computer draw, yeah? I mean, <laughs> what did you expect? So I played bishop h2, and here he made an error somewhere. He should have played bishop h4. You should always get a chance to play in this position bishop h4 because if i play g3 i block my bishop so i have to play something like rook c2 and then yeah rook c7 and then it's a big problem so right right instead he took this pawn he gave me in exchange for no reason bishop f4 immediately much stronger and he could have made my life difficult by playing bishop g5 himself and locking my bishop away in this miserable square but instead he played uh, this move, and after my bishop came back, this is already a difficult position. It's probably a draw, especially in the blitz game, but he allowed my uh, rook to enter b7. That was a big problem. Yes, king h2 should be played to avoid the check on the first. Yeah, but uh, after rook b7, he's, uh, he's in big trouble, yeah, because his pawns are also uh, doubled. It was, uh, if his pawn was on e6 and d5, he might even trade the queens because the endgame is draw, right? Because he has a very solid pawn formation, and knight goes to f5 or something, then it looks like a draw. Alright, so uh, very, 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 very interesting game, by the way. Um, and I played the club thematic tournaments. Can I play in the battle streamers for pawn grabbers? Uh, Nietzsche, yeah, anybody can play, anybody, it's open for everyone, the stream battle is open for everyone, you can just basically join and uh, choose your team, preferably mine, yeah, and play, it's open to everyone, 
You don't have to be a club member. You don't really have to be a subscriber. It's just open to everyone. Okay. Um, all right. So after round four, this was round uh, four, right? Which round was this? Yeah, it was round four. Okay, we have a break. So in the uh, let's take a look at some games. What happening today? Norway chess, right? All right, they actually are playing right now. Magnus versus Tari looks like Spanish. Traditionally, great knight on d5 against bad bishop. Uh, this. The computer might defend this position, but uh, in reality, for a human to defend this position is is a really terrible proposition. Because that knight on d5 is unchallengeable. Look at this knight on d5. Yeah, the knight is going to d5 and uh, the active rook. I think Magnus uh, should be able to win this game. I don't know how he's gonna break through here or where, but he has more maneuverable space. Yeah, he has the ability to create uh, constant threats. And it's just a um, very, very tough job defending this position. So I'm expecting him to win this game. Um, what else we have there? Okay, it's always a pleasure to see if Firuja playing chess, especially in this game against Fabiano. Yes, this is the Karakan with F3. Guys, I analyzed the system two years ago. It is extremely tricky. I think it's, uh, it's very playable for white. I think white has a very small advantage. In some lines, if black is not careful, white can get serious advantage. I'm serious, okay? So this is F3 is actually a viable system. And the way Fabi plays it, it, it's obvious that he analyzed this stuff. He came to the same conclusion. And that's why he plays it. Look at this position. Yeah, you have open F file, you have center, you have knight on F5. Everything you can possibly dream of. The only thing is that black is, with the bishop on g6, is the best place for the bishop in the system for black. He is doing so many things. He's protecting the king or closing the chi file, right? He's uh, taking uh, an eye over this formation, looking at the pawn on e4, which is potentially weak. And uh, it is difficult for white to improve his position, agreed. But, you know, pair of bishops looks like advantage to white to me. And especially, I'm not sure about this trade, but let's see it. Um, yeah, I have to click again. And bishop f6 is the main line, looks correct. Yeah, I mean, white is just, uh, Fabi is just playing for the structure, because he's playing three versus two here, and he's playing against double pawns here. So that makes a lot of sense. Again, you see it's plus one, according to the computer. I mean, for the human, it's not clear why white is so much better, because you have centralized bishop, which you can protect by a pawn on f5. So if somebody exchanges this bishop, you undouble your pawns, right? But in reality, um, it's not so simple. So let's see what happened. Queen f2, human move. You see, one move, and it's immediately changed the evaluation so much, yeah? And bishop d7. I don't understand this bishop d7 because you just allowed black rooks to improve with the tempo. And uh, the game is now equal because, again, very strong centralization by black. It's extremely difficult for white to do something against this bishop. And there are no knights. If there was knights on the game on the board, then white will have clear advantage, yeah? The knight will just jump somewhere h5, g4 and get to these weaknesses. But without knight... Only with the bishop. I don't see how white can um, win this. Very interesting game. Let's see, what else? Um, and we have this game, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is draw. Okay. Um, <laughs> this bishop and knight take away key squares from the only open C file. And of course, they also attack the pawns. And white has... Pair of bishops, but no really no way to improve his position because his king must protect the square. Otherwise, black is just gonna play rook c8 and knight c2 and then uh, infiltrate in the only open file, right? 
You can't just push pawns here because that will potentially make white pawns as targets. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is the break still over? Um, the six minute break has started. All right, so let's see commentary. Um, I'm subscriber if you channel member of the pawn grabber, Mr. GM Hannibal Lecture. Congratulations. What is the question? Grand's position is very interesting, yes. Mr. Ivanov, there are no Svaim. I treat everybody the same. If you're Russian speaking, English speaking, French speaking, Swahili speaking, I treat everybody everybody the same. We all first class people. There is no second sort people here. Alright? So if, uh, there are no privileged people. Okay. Um, and of course I say hello, but if I'm doing explanation, right, I'm not looking at the chat all the time. I'm here to do my thing, which is uh, explain chess the way I see it. I show you, yeah, I explain you things and uh, hopefully you learn. Uh, should have played queen a4. Hi Falcon. Hi Anish. Hi the Whistler. Alright, and I'm also playing title Tuesday. I should be playing seriously in this tournament. But I think uh, by streaming this, I'm, you know, I show you guys how it's done. All right, I, I really don't think about this knight c3 move much. I think maybe there is a better way for white to develop his pieces. But I don't see it. Ah, okay. So he plays like this. So if I give him a check and play queen g4. Then, yeah, okay, I need to grab this. Still, a small problem with the pawn on g7. You'll have to play g6 or something. This guy is from Poland. Ah, this is interesting decision, actually. This is a very interesting decision because... I agree. I don't want to take your pawn on g7, give you too much stuff. Yeah. Nice choice. I, I, I like this. I like how you play. Alright, so um, queen goes back to g3 maybe. Then knight h5. Uh, queen g7, rook g8, queen h6. Just Let's just check it. Rook g2, f3. Mm, maybe, but I like to play safe. Okay, so let's play queen e2. Finish the development. And put the knight on c4, where he belongs. I need to probably set up g3, put this knight on e3, so the pawn on g3, knight on e3 will protect all the squares in the world. So that needs to be done. And Rook will have to go back to ninety-three. So that's done. The knight on the three is perfectly placed because now I take control of a lot of squares. I'll probably have to play b3 at some points. Oh, he just does this. Can you do that? It's interesting. Um, okay, and if I take. You just give me a pawn for that. That's it. Oh, so it's a free pawn, yeah? All right. I'll take free pawns. I like free stuff. I love free stuff. If you give me free stuff, I'll take it. Um, Potentially we have g4, but let's not rush things, can be two.
Okay, how do we solve this position? It's not so simple, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he has certain pressure for the pawn. He has certain pressure for the pawn, I agree. Yeah, I don't like much my position, but okay, let's see it. Fine. Yeah, but uh, after knight d7, I grab your bishop. So that was kind of poison pawn. I mean, you could have taken it with the knight, yeah? If you take on d2, take with knight on a4. But after knight d7, knight f2, I grab your bishop. So that looks good. Yeah, I thought so. Now this position is very tricky. Uh, I just like to trade queens. Avoid danger if I can. Yeah, but without queens, uh, this is uh, should be not a complicated win. Knight goes to e4 to b5, right? So, Okay, that looks good. All right, so let's see. Could I have played better? I think this position should be slightly better for whites. So okay, the computer agrees. 97% accuracy on me, not bad. Queen c7. All right, so probably I should have castled, not rushed, I agree. Probably just castle, put rook on a1, a5, knight c4, knight e3, play it slowly, yeah, because, and then maybe even a4 suggestion is good because black cannot really take this pawn, but if black doesn't take the knight c4, you challenge black in the center, but let's see what this is. Okay, bishop c4, too early, yeah? Yeah, but otherwise I just play a5, so this is first line actually, wow. And uh, queen a queen b6 yeah i saw this queen b3 but i was very confused about oh queen d4 rook d1 my god of course jesus christ of course yeah yeah okay rook b1 was bad because after this move now he has um something queen b3 queen a3 very difficult to see especially in the blitz to admit something like that f3 is good h5 is decent b4 very strong move yes i was thinking about it right because you have rook b3 you're taking away all the squares but again king d2 yes i was thinking about king d2 but king d2 looks normal this is uh, clearly probably inaccurate knight cd1 immediately yes i agreed and knight cd1 and the advantage back to white yeah advantage white Okay, 
So knight c5 was probably a mistake, but uh, the computer says he is already worse. Here he has to play f5. Yeah, I think he should have played f5 here. Try to open my king. Bishop f5, and then after knight e4, he cannot give me the spawn, so he has to play queen b6, and then you have a5. And you keep the knight alive. You don't allow him to exchange on e4, and then you can play h4. Yeah, and then knight on g5 is very strong. It's uh, very hard to use this king here in e2 because knight on e3 he does a lot of things remember i told you how knight on e3 is perfectly placed he just does so many things he takes control of so many squares uh this knight is basically giving white an advantage and the way he played it he just took an a4 and after b4 what he missed was this knight g7 knight f2 and bishop has no way back that's why he played a5 and queen b4 is not on the top three lines but i think it's not bad right yeah i mean he could have played queen d7 queen e8 but i think uh, after this it's just easy win so he should have played queen e8 probably and then i don't know i can probably just take this thing e4 c4 and again it's very hard to get to my king some something like h4 maybe but all right so you got h4 you play queen h5 even but then you have rook h1 coming, right? And that's it. Bishop d7, rook h1. So the king and knight, they blockade really well. Okay. So that was this game. Alright, let's see commentary. Because I don't have a... Paul, thank you for your donation. Thank you for subscription. Hi, guys. Um, uh, okay, let's see. We have a very good blitz expert, Rodrigo Vasquez Castor. Oh yeah, Castor, I remember. I remember Castor. Um, if you like a king on f2, it's a great end game. All right, good, awesome. I remember Castor. Oh my God, I'm playing uh, Uzbek uh, Grandmaster, this kid. And it's gonna be London, he knows it. Last time we managed to kill him like in 20 moves, yeah? I, I, I suspect it's not gonna be so simple this time. This guy is extremely strong. And he's very young, so he grows really fast. Should we play bishop d3? Yeah, let's try it. Queen b1 or not? That's the question. Queen b1, bishop g7, there is no point, so let's play c4. Uh, how did I play here? I don't remember. Was it rook b5 or something? Uh, cd5 maybe? Christ, don't remember. All right, let's just castle. Finish the development. I think white has sufficient compensation, but who knows? It's not so. D four might be at some point coming. Yeah, so let's grab this probably. If you get a chance to put your opponent rook on a7, you should always take it. You should always take that chance. 
I don't think queen h5 was correct. Because now I can get back my b7 pawn. The one that I sacrificed, right? Um, things starting to look uh, pretty normal. Mm, e5. Okay. Okay, so he wants to play bishop e6 maybe at some point. Then e4 is coming. Blah, blah. All right, uh, let's just grab it probably, yeah. Just grab it and just grab it again. Can we do that? Knight b6, also interesting. Um, I don't, ba, 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 not sure, not sure, not sure at all. Kind of like knight b6, though. Fb3, grab the bishop. I just blunder something. Oh, there is mate or something. Uh, shit, I think I did, yeah. Christ. Knight of two, rook f two, bishop f two, queen b two, checks. So he has to play something like this. Um, I can probably play rook e two here. I mean, it should be a draw, but uh, my king is a little bit more open than his king, so that's. That's a factor. Well, let's offer a draw. Because I don't have much time. Oh, he wants to play for a win. That's his choice. Okay. Uh... Knight d3 is coming, right? So, I don't know. Oh shit, I blunder. Damn it. Actually, I didn't blunder. All right, I'll take it. Now he blunders. Ah, shit, I blundered. My God. Lucky son of a gun.
Yeah, it's probably winning for him. Probably this is winning for him. Christ. He's so lucky. Queen D1. <sighs> Alright, so he was winning here. Let's see. Look at that accuracy level. Ah, so this is advantage black, yeah? So e5 is actually first line, yeah? Wow. I should have played bishop g5, or actually... Yeah, bishop g5, I didn't see bishop g5. Yeah, I suspected that I should just take on f4, but knight b6 is good. Knight c8 is good. Rook c2 immediately, yeah? Yeah, this is a very complicated position though, I mean, it's impossible to play it correctly. Yeah, it's amazing that he sees all the tactics, of course, because at knight of 2 check you just go back, and then you take here, and then black is, um, white is okay. So he played rook d8, bishop e4 is okay, and h3, of course, is stronger, yeah? Same idea, but it's better, and he plays queen h4 which is first line again all right see young tactical demon that's what he is uh yeah but he okay i can't say that that uh, he just won on time because that queen he has queen and pawn versus rook and bishop it's probably winning anyway all right so i can't just say he he won on time just because he won on time. I think he, you know, it was very clean game, in fact. All right, how do I play here? It's a castle or something, uh, knight c6 maybe. Jesus Christ, um, knight c6 maybe. Okay, that's what happens when you play young talents, you know, you get ready to get burned. Hmm. All right, let me focus on the game. Okay, let me focus on the game. Yeah, it was still a good game, even though I lost it, it was still a good game. So I'm pretty happy that uh, we played it. Yeah, but I think black should be okay in this type of positions in general. Yeah, protecting the spawn. And preparing C5 in the future. That's the goal. That is the objective. So if I play C5... Actually, let's kick this bishop out. I don't like this active bishop there. 
Go back to where you came from, you spawn of bishop. On the other hand, he gets knight e5 now, yeah? And potentially he can uh, do nasty things. So let's try to be solid. Uh, Alright, let's play c5, fine. Let's play c5, fine. <coughs> Yeah, I don't worry about the spawn on c4 because uh, you're getting his pawn on c3, which I think is more important. I could have played knight of six, yeah, but okay, I blundered it. That's fine. Uh, he's planning h5, I guess. That's his idea. So let's put this knight on f5. These are some serious knight blockaders, so that's good. Uh, do you really want to take it? Okay, let's see it. Yeah, if he can get his rook to g1, he's probably winning the game. If he can do that. Only if he can do that. So the rook has to go here. Obviously, we have to start doing something active counter spilling, yeah? Yeah, he blunders rook c2. Now black is fine. Queen b7 check should be played or not? I don't know. forgot about the spawn hanging. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. I should have played f6 immediately. My god. Christ. Bad mistake. And after rook a1. Queen h6. Okay. Check. Queen g1. I grab everything. Sorry. All right, that's how you defend against the young attacker. Why Lich has in the title? Because I am doing a promotion for the Lich has um, streamer battle. All right, obviously he had a huge advantage, obviously. I'm not arguing with that, but I had more accuracy. Woo! Go me. Alright, castles. Um, yeah, you should play e5 here. Yeah, 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 okay, e5. My god. I don't understand this. Um, yeah, he should have played e5 himself probably at some point, but he was...
playing solid chess, which is nothing wrong with that. Knight d2 or rook e1. Actually, I think it's about equal. Uh, after this, after both moves, uh, white is a uh, big advantage. Okay. Uh, knight e4, blah, blah. Here, bishop g5 is okay. Rook e1, rook b8, normal. Again, big advantage to white, but it's not easy. You still have to prove. See, his advantage is slowly, slowly going down. 95. Yeah, of course. I should have taken on d4, a4, b4. Because he can't really take with the queen or rook because take a 96, right? So he has to take with a pawn and then just play a4 and b4. That's how you play because knight c3 is a threat. After b3, knight c3 is a huge threat. And black is fine here. That's how I should have played. But I saw this idea, I immediately followed up on this, and it was not that great, yeah? Queen c7. But still, his advantage is being lowered down, yeah? It's only 1.25 now. And he decides to go for this attack. h5, second line, but rook b2 is stronger, of course. g4. Rook b2 again, much stronger. And h5, second line. And finally, rook b2, rook c1, rook a8, second line, not bad. It's a blunder because now he is worse, yeah? Now there is no, no escape. He doesn't have time for queen f6, he has to play rook g1. And now knight e4, yeah, okay, knight e4, the computer move. I didn't see this move. Obviously knight e4 is much stronger because if he plays this, then you just take one f2 with a check. And then that's how you open the second line, right? I didn't see it. But knight e8 is also okay. It's plus 8, yeah? For God's sake, it's enough. f6, and still good enough. All right, so not bad. I think we didn't play such a bad game. Ooh, let me close this thing. What did it just open? Not a bad game, guy. guys. Um, I had knight f5 winning queen. Really? Leon Beast, when? When I had knight f5? When? Here? Ah, here. <laughs> well, okay, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That is true, but I thought rook g1 was enough, okay? Let's be honest, it's enough, okay? You have uh, extra rook, it's, it's, it's enough, it's, it's semantics, okay? It's, uh, it's not that different, okay, yeah, no problem. All right, so which round was this? Round seven, this Alex Sur. Actually, guys, I'm doing, uh, surprisingly, I'm not doing so badly. This chess warrior, he also lost the game, apparently. Oh, he made two draws. Lord Balrog and Amitabai. Okay. Naka is perfect 100%, which is normal. This guy, Alex Sur, that lost to me, right, remember? He gave me a freaking pawn. No, wait, that was different Alex Sur, yeah? Alright, um, he actually beat some strong guys. Who the hell is this guy, Alex Sur? He's a Grandmaster. Ah, Pridarozhna, okay, okay, I know this guy. He is actually a very strong Blitz player, and he's a good theoretician. He's kind of uh, famous in Russian, Russian chess circles. Uh, for being an IM, not a GM, but uh, he made a GM, yeah, recently, okay. Wait, was he GM for a long time or recently? I'm not sure. See, there are different... Why are there two Alex Sur? What? Ah, wait, 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 I'm looking at his... Uh, so, never mind. I'm being dumb. Okay. Okay, so what happened in the... Uh, in this uh, round eight? Let's see it. See, I told you Magnus will find a way to win this. Because that position was absolutely terrible to defend. So let's see it. Let's see how it was done. 
by the best technician in the world, the current world champion. And g4, g5, precisely. And queen h3. Boom! Look at this. Rook e8. Wow, what tactics by the world champion. That's amazing. That, that, you see? And uh, bishop g7, knight of 6 loses the queen. So king h8 and knight of 6 wins. Fantastic. Yep. That's, that's when tactics and strategy come together. And uh, Firuja is... Wait, but after queen trade, now black is worse, yeah? So what happened? What happened the last few moves that changed the evaluation of this position? Queen h4. So f5 was not correct. Bishop a4. Now white has better structure and still a long road to win, but... But this double pawns are clearly in white's favor. Although point 0.1 difference is not that large, yeah? Again, the bishop is very active on a4. And uh, white still has to attack these weak pawns and get to them, which is not simple. And the third game was a draw, but now they played this and... And three pawns should be winning for black, of course. So Aronian lost with white, but that because if he drew with white, it is the same as he loses, right? So he had to do some risk probably, and do the yeah. I mean, when when playing Armageddon, I think black has a huge advantage with draw odds. I mean, the time difference is not that. Um... Jababa played this line for black, guys. Just a reminder. You no, know, Jababa plays this line for black all the time. And he was very successful with it, actually. Yeah, the endgame is fine for black. Black is better, I believe. See, because pawn formation... Uh, and I think Levon probably overstepped. Yeah, he should have played c5, but uh, he allowed this king d6. e5 and king e6. That's why he needed to play here with the bishop on b7 or a8, so that if white, if black plays king e6, then you have a check on d5 with your bishop, and pre that prevents knight of 6 because right now, after knight of 6 king d6, it's equal. And you see, the draw odds, you know, they both played correct chess so far, but because of the draw odds for black, right, Levon now has to take some risk. And uh, he's taking this risk, he gave, and it's not worth it. It's not worth it, he lost. Yeah, so it's, uh, he lost simply because of the fact that he had to win with white. I don't think that's fair. And getting pummeled by people at their peak is detrimental for young players like Tari, I think. Okay, I... I I have, I played Tari many times, not many times, few times, I know this guy, uh, he's very talented, but he is not quite at the level of those guys, okay? He is not quite at the level, and being pummeled by these guys, I don't know, um, it's a complicated question. It all depends on mental toughness of this guy, his willingness to uh, improve, because he's streaming a lot, right? And if you stream a lot, there is no way you can really improve much. So you have to study chess really hard, many hours a day, which is very difficult now because you need to make a living, of course, right? So it's not so simple. Uh, how do I play here? Uh, my God. Ugh, I hate this line. Yeah, this is uh, this is where white is always slightly better. But uh, it can be very tricky. Yeah. In general, I don't like bishop d2 for white, but um, you need good memory. You need to memorize a lot of lines to prove it, which is not so easy again. And right now, just trade the queens. Actually, knight b4 with idea of a5 is interesting. But I'm old school guy, so let's play queen b4. Let's just try trade the damn thing. 
I go into the end game because I think the end game, end game is okay for for black. I think the end game is perfectly fine for black here. Okay. C5 really probably not a good idea. Bishop C4 is very interesting. Uh, bishop f5 looks cool, but okay, let's play knight d5, actually. Yeah, obviously white is better, because of the structure. I mean, the only way to challenge white would be probably c5 was the correct move, yeah? If uh, I had more time, if it was a classical game, I would seriously consider that move. But because it's not classical game, because it's blitz, yeah, you need to grab the bishop, of course. Grabbing pair of bishops is good. Um, knight b4 here is very interesting. I kind of like, uh, yeah, okay, let's just play safe, okay? Let's play safe. Ah, this is not a good move. This is not a good move, gentlemen, but... I don't think this is the right reason. I was afraid of bishop d5, knight d7, doubling on the c file. And then I think black might be in trouble. Actually in trouble. So now we got all our pieces away from his pieces. Uh, he is going for this b4 thing maybe. Mm. And I need to be mindful of the time. So how do we play this position? Don't really want to play b6, but looks interesting at least. Looks very interesting at least. Uh, what is this? Ah, his knight on c4 protects everything, yeah, but okay. I don't know, let's see it. c5. Probably white is better. But not by much. Yeah, he is uh, kind of playing strange chess, but okay, maybe he can get away with it. Bishop d5 is his idea, probably, yeah? Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I knew it. He, that's what he's playing. He's going for this uh, thing, yeah? Yeah, he's better now, I agree. Okay, so I misplayed this part. I gave him too much. Yeah, okay. definitely with the pawn on f7 out, this is not nice for me. Yeah, but you allowing rook d1, yeah? I mean, come on, man. What the heck are you doing?
Okay, let's not blunder stuff. Check. I'm not playing well. Time, yeah. Right time. Two bishops is unpleasant. Okay. That's what happens. Um Because I'm on DSL, guys. I am on DSL, all right? This is terrible internet for me today. The uh, I mean, DSL is terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, so let's see. Queen a3 and queen b4 is okay. I ah, see five here. Wow. And if knight a4, then... Okay, this is not easy. Uh, yeah, okay, this is not easy. I like queen b4, it's a very safe move. But now after e3, there was the problem, yeah? So the computer says after a5 or bishop f5, black is equal, maybe. And after this move, white is better, yeah? Knight a4, I'm not sure about knight a4, but... Uh, oh, knight b6, my god, I missed knight b6, uh, but okay. See, this is a very strange position, yeah? Sometimes you can just do things like bishop h6 and f5, but uh, knight b6 here looks solid, yeah, knight c5. And then you have this knight c4 crazy idea, and then if bishop goes here, then you have b6. Oh, you have b6, right, coming, so... Okay. So I just took this because I thought it was good. Oh, bishop h6, beautiful, okay. Bishop h6, the idea of knight takes c3. Alright, and now here I played bad move, um, and he should have taken on d5, taken on d7, and rook, have, uh, rook c3 just took over the c file, and my position is bad. After this one, I think black is okay, but knight b4 was strange, I expected b4, knight b4 was very strange, uh, e6, and then c5, okay, that makes a lot more sense actually, yeah, that's what I should have played. I just followed my gut instinct and I went for this line. And it turned out to be not that great. And here I should have oh rook b4. That's how you play it. Wait, 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 wait. What about this line? A6. I'm an idiot. Of course. A6 and black is fine. And you you connect your pawns back. Yes. My God. Jesus Christ. My God. This was such a bad move. I was very confused because I thought I could take on b2. Right? Because if knight b5, rook b5, but then I blundered rook b5 and he just wins. That was my blunder. But I didn't see a6. And this is just plain winning. Yeah, I expect to hear f3 and white is just winning. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, uh, who am I playing? Kriakin. Okay. Not bad. All right, this is going to be fun. I haven't played against Siroja in a long time. It's been a long time since I played uh, with the guys of this caliber. The recent Bundesliga is not counting because that was just two games and I lost both of them, right? Uh, that was terrible.
Okay. Oh, he wants to trade stuff. Okay, that's good. That is good. We can do that. I'm all for the Egalite Fraternite. Yeah. That's fine. Destroy the Superman. Yeah, we're not giving you this bishop anymore, man. You can forget about it. Forget about it. No more bishop for you. Yeah, it's important to keep this bishop alive. Because it's a freaking London bishop, right? Bishop e2, just develop. Normally. Uh, 95 at this point might be interesting, but why? But why not? Yeah, 95. Let's play 95. Let's play 95 and bishop g5. Ah, then he plays there, yeah. Okay, do we want to trade maybe? Fine, let's trade. Pair of bishops is good. It was always good. I mean, now white has a small advantage, guaranteed, because of the pair of bishops. So I'm pretty happy with my position. Rook d1. Against those nasty bishop g5. Bishop takes d2, thanks. Okay, rook. Actually, now that he plays this, I can take this thing. And uh, play rook b1, or a4, actually. Let's play a4. And... Knight b3, maybe even. But why, yeah? Why? Let's play g4. Let's play more active chess. Let us play more active chess. Um, knight b3 now, okay. Looks good. I might consider playing a5 some points. But we need to open the position a little bit because I need uh, room for my pair of bishops. Bishops require a room to function well. Probably equal still. It's kind of a little bit more pleasant for white to play this position because I have a direct uh, check. Okay, bishop c7 maybe. If I take here, I don't know what he wants. So if I play here. He can't play bishop c7 because I take on a8 and take on d5. Right, so he has to come up with something more creative than that. And it's not so simple, of course. Yeah, I think black is uh, slightly worse, maybe. Because this bishop uh, could be a problem for black. See, he loses the pawn now. So he has to look for a draw. He's got to look for a draw. And uh, with the pawns on the light squares like that, it's not going to be an easy draw. Oh, he's down on time too. Wow. Sergey, 
You are in trouble, man. Okay, he's trying to trade down or something. Maybe, probably good, uh, good plan. Let's bring the king. And then we can trade the rooks, I think. King e2 first. Now we can trade the rook. And that should be winning. Because my king is here. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be a winning game for us. Okay. Not bad. Um, okay. See? London system. Yeah? Nothing special. Just London system. Maneuver, 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 maneuver. Pawn break, pawn break. Boom. Sometimes that's it. Yeah? Okay. I mean, it, it looked very smooth, right? I mean, he, he... I mean, respect the pair of bishops, yeah? You gotta respect pair of bishops. Especially the light squared bishop after e4. Yeah. Bishop pair, exactly. Bishop pair is very important. I mean, probably he could draw this game. I'm pretty sure he could have drawn this game. But, uh, you know, you have to be very precise. And in blitz, it's hard, okay? All right, so how are we doing? We are actually... We are actually... Wow. Whoa! We are actually in the top... Uh, we're doing pretty good. Wait, where is Naka? Naka lost the game? What? He lost the game? Oh, he lost to Parham. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that can happen. Parham is very, very strange player. He's very unstable. But he can beat anybody, including world champion. Because this guy is extremely, extremely talented. Very, very talented. But he is very unpredictable. Yeah, that, 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 that is his problem. If we, he was just a tad more uh, solid, then I think he would be doing great. F4 is good. But, yeah, I mean, you have to take on a5, I think. That's probably, that's probably granted, yeah? Because you need to close this file. Because if black plays queen a2 now, you can just do bishop c3, right? And then if black takes, this, there is, this thing is closed. But okay, I, who, who am I to say, yeah? Who am I to criticize uh, these guys? Um, queen a2, c3, ef4. Yeah, probably have to take on f4. Yeah, you should take this pawn in general. Yeah, because that is one badass pawn. If you allow it to leave, you you have to close this bishop also. Yeah, I think. Queen e4. Uh, yeah, now yeah yeah now things definitely went wrong for white. Yeah, definitely definitely not good. Okay. So suddenly I find myself before the last round sharing the top five places with pretty much famous dudes, except who's the Serbian guy? I've never seen this guy before. Alexander Injic, I know this guy. He is uh, Alexander Morozevic uh, protege. He's been um, his student for many years. Okay. Do you think about things like Kraken, etc. will have studied your games while developing to world chess championship level players? I don't know. Ask him. Parham is similar to Jabava? I kind of disagree. I think Parham is... Uh, Jabava is very strong, but I think Parham is way stronger. Whoa, I'm playing white against Naka in the last round. Naka is going to try to beat me because it's Blitz game, right? <laughs> I know this guy. <laughs> Actually, pairing against Naka is not the best choice for me. 
because he is gonna try to crush me. Um, queen b6. Uh, how do I deal with that? Just play knight d2, I think. Yeah, just just let him have the spawn. Let him have the spawn. That's fine. Um, okay. Um, hmm. So if I just grab this queen takes or something, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Who knows, right? Who knows? Um, he's 95, I think. Fine, let's just give a check and stop worrying about things. Whatever happens, happens, right? Whatever happens, happens. We just have to be smart about things. Uh, 95 looks interesting. Bishop d7, but then he grabs, grabs. Uh, I don't know. Castle of bishop g4. All right, 95 looks good. Knight c4 is impossible, right? So let's just grab this bishop and go c4 maybe. Might not be the best move, but um, yeah, it's not the best move. Not the best move by far. That's interesting. I like queen a4 here. Oh shit, my god, oh fuck, oh, oh my god. All right, I just blundered the whole freaking bishop for nothing. Oh my god. There goes my, um, there goes my, um, everything, yeah? Yeah, pretty much everything. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Too nervous. Too nervous. Way too nervous. Yeah, okay. Might as well resign this game. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm an idiot. That's fine. All right. Now that we agreed that I'm an idiot, he wants to play 94 maybe. Uh, Rook D1, 94 anyway, right? So. C1. Can't believe I just blundered the whole bishop like that. Jesus Christ. Can't believe that.
Yeah, yeah King G7, yeah. You yeah, know. The sad truth. The very sad truth that I am completely lost. Okay, be the man, resign. I mean, what can, what else can you do? All right, let's take a look at it for the sake of finding the truth. Rook B1, Knight C6. Ah, yeah. See, it's plus one, plus one. My God. C4, A6. Plus two, Jesus Christ, it's plus two. After bishop a4, it's just plus two. My god, I could have won this game. Because you have rook takes b7. And the threat is cd5, so knack was just lost after 15 moves in London system. Can you believe that? Guys, after 12 moves, you can beat Naka in a blitz game. You gotta say something about the opening, right? I'm playing the right opening, right? Who else can say that he's got a completely winning position against Naka after 12 moves in the opening without doing anything terrible moves? Yeah, you can tell him that he was basically minus 3. After bishop a4, he's lost. Yeah, go figure. All right. All right. No problem. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, no, don't always stick to London, but, you know, keep in mind that uh, it's pretty damn good system. Yeah, thank, th uh, thanks to Naka. Yeah, okay. All right, gentlemen, let's, uh, we're done with the tournaments. We obviously didn't win anything because of this last round game. And uh, that loss really puts me way back. So I will not be surprised. See, I'm out of the top eight now because of that. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Naka was actually half point behind me. Yeah, and he had a lost position. All right, not, not bad. All right, so we are uh, going to go back to Lee Chess. Let's take a look at some uh, Norway Chess. What's going on here? Uh, these guys had a tie break. My god, these guys are still playing. Quran is still trying to beat uh, Firuja in this line, but is he really that better? Yeah, I mean, obviously White is better now. He has active Rook. Potential weaknesses, h7. Um, the bishop endgame is a draw, so I don't know. The only thing white can do to play for a win is to go for... Yeah, we said, what he wants to do is attack the spawn and then give a check somewhere when the rook is unprotected, yeah? That's what he wants. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, not a bad tournament, guys. Come on, not a bad tournament. I mean, having plus three in the London system against Naka is pretty good. Yeah. After 12 moves. That's reassuring, yeah, that I can I can be there at some point. All right, rook h6, and now we're going to see the moment of truth. Is black going to play rook h6 here? Try to infiltrate? I think it's a pretty reasonable move. Because you can then play rook c2, rook c3, right? The problem is this pawn on f5, so he did this. And now I think rook h2, but g4 is the problem, right? And also bishop g8 could be a problem, so uh, black has to be kind of careful. Rook h2, 
And if g4, then it's probably... Yeah, but uh, what is black doing? Oh, rook h3 check, right? Rook h3 check, king f4, rook f3 check maybe. I don't know, it looks dangerous now. I don't like this rook h2. Yeah, I thought he should have played something different. Maybe king b6, preparing rook g6, right? Some slow chess, slow motion chess. Maybe king d6 even, yeah, to control the square in e5. Because I think g4 now is very unpleasant, to be honest. I'm pretty sure Fab is also thinking about bishop g8, but that looks a little bit artificial. It's a perfectly valid move. Perfectly valid. Um, and if bishop g8, then black might consider playing bishop b1 with sort of trick f4. Yeah. So interesting game. Very interesting. Um, and uh, of course, Fabi has four, point, 4 minutes versus less than a minute for Firuja, which is a huge advantage in this kind of position. Молодец, Рилерза. And I am... I'm actually... See, that, that loss actually hurt. Yeah, I'm actually on the 15. But okay, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad performance. Uh, yeah, blundering a bishop like that is terrible. Yeah, bishop a4 just win the game, and queen a4 <laughs> lose the game. Yeah, one move decides all. Yeah, but okay, I'm curious what is gonna be Fabi's move here. I like g4. I think bishop g8 is interesting, but uh, bishop g8 maybe just h6. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh my god, sorry. So I like rook a. Um, I like g4 for white here, very much so. And the black plays bishop c2, bishop b1, they just play g5. And that pawn on g5 will be kind of unpleasant, yeah? Yeah, so g4 has been played. I Guys, I played Fabiano so many games already in my life, I can almost smell the way he is thinking. King d6, played instantly. I like this move. G5, Rook G2, Rook H7, Rook G3 check. Very important check, because King F4 is met by Rook G, Rook F3 mate. King D6, very powerful move. That's the kind of move that I didn't really see, and I think that's the very strong move. So the question is uh, whether White can just take on F5 or check on D8 first. The idea is to try to get this bishop away from this diagonal, right? So you can your rook can go somewhere here on the fifth. Mm. Because rook h3 check is actually now a threat, because king doesn't have access to the e5 square. So that might be. Yeah. So maybe g4 was not so great. Let's see the what the computer says. Let's see what the computer says. The computer says it's equal. Uh, and here, okay, it's still equal, yeah, it's still equal, it's still very equal, so King d6, first line, fantastic move by black, fantastic defense, with less than a minute on the clock, I'm very impressed, guys I'm very, very impressed with the way uh, Firuja is playing Are you rooting for, rooting for anyone in the tournament, Norway chess? No, I am not um, um, No, I'm not um, and now after rook h3 check, king f4, rook f3, king g5, rook g3, right? Rook g3. And, uh, yeah. So maybe we'll see king d2 here and just go on for a draw. Because king f4, rook f3, king g5, rook g3 is a uh, risky business. It's a very risky business for white, actually. It is possible, but I think king d2, which is a computer first line, right? Computer first line. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And, and Fabi is going for it because black is very long time. Very, very long time. And he is going for it. What? Why not rook g3? This move is not bad, but uh, I don't understand. Why not rook g3 here? Uh, 
probably draw, but this is now looking dangerous for black. Uh, my god, okay, bishop d5 now, yes, bishop d5, ooh, ooh la la, rook e5, probably just take on g4, yeah, and then rook c3 at some point, so black just wants to trade all the pawns, and yeah, just fg4, looks like a draw, yeah, fg4, rook c5, king d6, rook d5, king c6, looks like a draw, yeah, this this starting to look like a draw because black takes the pawn on c3, which is critical. King b6 is also possible, but I don't really like it. But still possible. Rook king c7, yeah, king c7. Just no king c6, no checks on d5. Just be safe. My God, he's not scared. This guy is not scared at all. You know, the 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 experienced grandmaster, the older gentleman, would probably play king c7. You know, just to make sure his king is on the dark square, away from the checks. This guy has no fear. I like that. That's how the young champion should behave. Yes. Yeah, but this is dead draw. You should just offer a draw because bishop d3 just makes a draw. Yes, but uh, he's got uh, increments, and this game, this position is draw. Right? This is just draw. There's nothing you can do with white or with black but to agree on a draw. Okay, good. They agreed on the draw. Very good. Alright, so we're gonna see now the tie break. Alright, we're gonna see the tie break. And we're gonna uh, see the tie break. I'll play you guys a little bit and then we're gonna call it a day. Alright? Alright. Uh, it depends. Ah, they play the same color, right? So it's enough for Firuja to make a draw with black. Then he has the advantage, gentlemen. He has the advantage. The way he's playing in this tournament. And he's playing, he's got the draw odds. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here kind of... Not sure. I would say Firuja is probably has better odds to, you know, make a draw with black. Because uh, also Fabiano is like uh, we let's uh, let's remember Fabiano's strength lies in classical games, right? Remember how he got completely killed by Carlson in their World Chess Championship uh, match uh, playoffs in the Rapids. I mean, he is extremely strong, obviously, in all sorts of forms of uh, time control play. But Blitz uh, is not his best uh, game, okay? Yes, Quran is still Quran, but Blitz is not his best game, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a very speedy demon, a young demon playing on the black side, who is very strong in Blitz. Again, another factor to consider, which uh, I consider in black's favor. All right. You remember how our boss? All right, let's not call Carlson the boss. He's got no family. Yeah. Well, one, once he has his family, then we call him the boss. Or the Godfather. Yeah. He's not the Godfather yet. He's not old enough. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking, man. Yeah. I mean, although he has his beard. Yeah. He kind of looks like a little bit, uh, remember in the last Avengers, the final, yeah, the end game? Remember, remember how Thor, he got a little weight on, yeah, he had this beard. Yeah, that reminds me of Magnus a little bit. Yeah, same Norwegian face look, yeah? Beard is only to look older? Okay, maybe, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but I'm just a little bit, I'm kidding, but okay, it's kind of funny. All right, so where's the game? Oh, wait, 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 we're probably missing it, yeah? They probably already started. Norway, and where is the game? Come on, give us the game. Let's see it. 15, 20 minute break. All right, challenge me then. Guys, challenge me. Again, reminder, we have the um, streamer battle against nine other 
team streamers uh, st streamers teams all right so join and play for my team all right let's play for the london system team all right no no increments guys no increments 3-0 all right no increments please no increments okay Aha! Uh -huh. The Zamish! A very solid system. I like to play this against the Zamish because uh, I kind of like to scare my opponent into not castling Queenside. So... Because I really hate this uh, attack against my king, okay? I really don't want to allow this attack on my king to happen. Actually, e5 looks very interesting here, yeah? Maybe c5 first. Yeah, we sort of now got uh, not, a, not a bad Benoni, I kind of like to think. So I think black is very, very okay here. Hmm. Yeah, but white is very solid. That is true. Very, very solid for whites. And we need to do something about this bishop. Probably trade the bishop. Or we can play bishop b7, yeah? I'm not sure quite yet where to put this bishop. Hmm. С Накаморы. Плюс 3. О боже мой. Ну, плюс 3 после 12 ходов. So disappointing. Да, ну ладно. Ещё у неё на плачка меньше было, кстати. Oh my god. Ладно. Окей. Ну окей. Повезло ему сегодня. Пусть радуется. Но он там хорошие вещи обо мне говорил. Так что окей. Так что окей, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling my wife that Naka was like... Uh, he beat me and then he was saying nice things about me. Yeah, just to make it... Uh, you know, make it less painful for me. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that from Naka. That gesture. It was very nice. Uh... Don't make jokes about Magnus and Beard. That he likes to play on Smurf accounts and watch GMs. Hey, I don't mind. He can play me anytime. It's always a pleasure to play world champion. Yeah. I mean, if you love chess, you don't care about losing or winning. That's the thing. Okay, that's the thing I'm trying to tell you guys. You should not care about winning or losing. You should care only about uh, how you play the game. That should be your attitude. And now this pawn requires serious um, defensive capabilities. Yeah, now black is better. And the knight is going to c4, add some more pressure. I was naming that Siberian uh, protege of Alexander Morozich. It's not Siberian, it's, um, it's not Siberian, man. It's Serbian. I know it sounds very close, but it's not exactly the same. Yeah, it's uh, Serbian. It's Injic. Yeah, very good. Good, good player. Good, good player. All right. Um, so this knight is going to d5, I should guess. So we're looking for the ways to use this to our advantage. How? Ooh, okay, fine. Mr. Zoki Rochester, long time no see. How are you? And let me know if they started playing, okay? So let's keep this thing. 
And they're not started yet. Okay, good. Well, the thing about this title Tuesday is that I don't mind not qualifying uh, to the next stage is because the next stage is a bullet, gentlemen. I qualified once like in April of this year, all right? And then, then I realized that it's a bullet. I have no chance in bullet against the speedy demons, guys. So that's why I'm not concerned. So just show them how it's done, yeah? And then, okay. I don't care much about playing bullets because I don't think that's the right uh, uh, format uh, for the knockouts, okay? But it's their choice, it's their platform. They can do whatever they want. I mean, and the first round, uh, actually, yeah. Wait, the bullet is the tiebreaker, right? I remember I lost to Feather Safe and Bullet Tiebreaker. I played him first with Black. It was um, maybe it was three one. Okay, I'm wrong. The first game was like three one or something, but the tiebreaker. You know, was the bullets with no increment. So I'm like, okay. Good luck. Can you play the Ice Daddy? Can you adjust the camera size back for the chest? We can't see your time clock. Oh, sorry. You're absolutely correct. I apologize. All right. And guys, let me know uh, when uh, the game start. All right. So here I just basically just take this thing without thinking because we all grew up on those classical Nimzo games, right? Nimzovich defense, doubling pawns. Awesome. Right. The only thing left to do now is to play Bishop G4 and trade this knight. Then we'll have a perfect knight, but probably okay. Uh, Probably should not play bishop g4 because it will be very hard to break through white fortress. So we might need this bishop for f5 things. Like here, yeah. And, uh, alright. And then, with the position closed, having a little bit more space for black, it's just so much fun to play such positions on the side that is the torture side, right? Yep. You guys probably know how it feels to be tortured. I mean, I don't know, but okay, let's just, you know, for the sake of the argument, you yeah. know. It's unpleasant. We all been there. Can you play the nice daddy? Looks like they started. Uh, I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet. Okay, are you sure they started? Can you send the link to the game? Yeah, free pawns, right? Free pawns, we take the pawns. Um, even if they double, they're still free. Uh, more free pawns, right? That's good. Ooh, 95. I like that. Um, does it work? That is the important question if this thing works or not. Uh, okay, looks interesting. Uh, boom. King h7. Okay. And just knight e4. Okay, actually grab this bishop, yeah. And bishop e6, that looks perfect. Finish the development, grab the queen. Okay, let me see if they started. They, somebody said 15, 20 minutes, right? So I don't see they starting, they, them, them starting yet, so. Next.
Now that's a possibility. That's a possibility. C4, C5 is always a possibility. It's a very interesting move, actually. Um, I think that's one of the few rare lines that forces white to go into the C4 line. Because it, it, it sort of becomes like a Queen's Gambit uh, something, right? I think it's d5. And it goes something like this. And knight c3. And then we're sort of back in this uh, Queen's Gambit accepted uh, territory. Of course, I don't remember the theory, but who cares? I'm not gonna say the main line because you might hear it, but he probably you probably know it anyway. Yeah, e5. Because if I take on d5, bishop d6, I think black is okay there. So this used to be like one of the main lines. And maybe black is fine also. Not sure. I haven't looked at these lines in years. You're welcome. Knight e4. I think knight e4 or d4 are the main moves in this position. Okay? I don't think knight g4 is the right move. I mean, I don't think I, I remember seeing it. I think knight e4 was the main line. But d4 is also a very close second because ef6, dc3, something there. It's like crazy stuff. Ah! Yeah, okay, this might be dangerous, yeah? Okay, so let's kick this knight out. Because you can't really take on a5. Maybe you can, but um, you'll have to give me an exchange, yeah? So... Let's see. Let's see it. Maybe I should have just taken on d8 on bishop c4, but then 95. Alright, let's grab this thing. Bishop e6 is coming sooner or later, so let's grab this. Because if I take bishop c4, bishop e6, queen d8, then he can take with a rook. So I want to avoid that. And we are into the end game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the end game now. Like Doctor Strange said, we are in the end game now. Well, extra pawn is always nice. But I can't believe we played so many strong players today. Yeah, we played Koryakin, we played Naka, uh, we played some um, Uzbeki, young kid, yeah. So lots of strong players today. Which is good. Which is very good, actually. It's good for your practice. Ah, knight d4 first. Smart. Okay, I missed this. I missed this move. <coughs> so we are only up one pawn. It's kind of an important pawn though. No, no, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Okay. Have they started? Thank you for subscribing, Mr. Leslie. Thank you. They're starting now, yeah? Okay. Where? Where are they starting? I don't see the game yet. Corona Firuza, right? This one. Okay, good. All right, guys, we're gonna check this game. All right, uh, we're not gonna play more. So we're gonna check this game. We're gonna watch it live. Can you play the nice daddy? Uh. Uh. 
Um, I can, but uh, see how many people are before him, right? And uh, some of them actually support us for a very long time on my channel, right? I don't think it's fair to skip them. So I'm gonna play Nice Daddy. So, I'm playing uh, the guys as they are lined up. Oops, okay, let's not go here. Yeah, because this is gonna be a blitz game, right? What is the time control for this game? Anybody knows? What is the time control? Favorite in 10 minute game, so root for Fabi. Okay, is it 10 minute game? Where is the time? I don't see timer. Chess.com, round 16, okay. 10 minutes, 7 minutes. Oh, I see. 10 minutes for white, 7 minutes for black. 1 second increment after move 40. Okay, now that, that actually sounds uh, pretty fair. Yeah, I think that's better. That's better, for sure. Because 3 minute advantage is uh, not nothing to sneeze at. Especially if you have white color. Potential advantage in the opening, yeah. And uh, black is a problem in the opening, then he has to start thinking and... Uh, yeah, but the problem is, is that I remember I was playing Heroes at the World Blitz Chess Championship. I caught him in one of the lines, I can show you the line. Um, I caught him in this line uh, which he played. We played this line before, but I didn't show the refutation, which I knew. And it was something like this, bishop f4, castles, knight d2, d6, e4, c5, grab, grab, here, knight c6. And here he played bishop h6, which he played before, and I played some stupid move, but I knew the refutation. The refutation here is g4, so I, when I played this move against him in the blitz, he realized he was caught, right? And he is forced to give up this bishop, basically. And after this, with a pair of bishops, strong center, black is in uh, white. White's adv advantage is indisputable, all right. But he managed to hold the draw, and I was very impressed with that. So what we see here is we see my one of my favorite system is g6. It's a very interesting way to respond to f3, because it's a mix between Karakhan and Pierce, right? And uh, after f4, let's make the engine running as well. I think white has a small advantage. Uh, because, yeah, because this becomes like sort of a French, but with the bishop on g7. Yeah, I think white's advantage uh, is now clear, yeah? Because this bishop, this is bad French for black. At some point he'll have to play e6, f6 and try to break the center. But then he'll be stuck with some weaknesses. Okay, who do you pick black or white? G4. Armageddon has started. Guys, I don't think it's right to call this Armageddon. Okay, but you're right, it's Armageddon tiebreaker. Bishop e6. Ooh, very ugly. Very ugly move, but this is the first line. Wow, first line. Okay, that shows how I'm quite outdated, yeah? And now he has knight h6. Wow. I'm very outdated, guys. I didn't realize how outdated I am. And okay, it makes actually perfect sense to play bishop e6 because if you play f6, if white captures, you want to capture with the pawn and keep the pawn structure the way it is, right? Nice. Very impressive play by uh, Hiruja. Uh, bishop d7 looks iffy. And uh, white just trying to grab a hold over the c5 square, so he has to play knight a4, bishop f2, queen c3, and knight c5. See? Hiruja plays e6. I don't like this move. He should have kept this pawn for f6 break, so he can capture with the pawn. Right? That, that's the whole point of playing bishop e6 in the first place. I don't like this e6 stuff. I think uh, black might be in trouble in this game because after queen c3, a3, 
White gets the hold over c5 square. He can later play g3, h3, g4, kick the knight out. Black is stuck with a very bad bishop. Very, very bad bishop. I, I would say that Firuja might lose this game. Yeah, he definitely should not have played e6. I don't think e6 was right. I think he should have castled, played f6, and then e the knight f7, or something, but keep the pawn on e7, alright? Because the way he plays is this structure sucks. So, that is a smart practical choice by black to sacrifice this pawn, but to improve his bishop. I like this. I think that's the correct way to play. Otherwise, you're suffering for an eternity. And now, but white gets a pawn, right? But you, you, you do open the files for your rooks and potentially bishop f8. So, uh, it's, it's, it's some contra counterplay, okay? Alizar has been in a cave just grinding opening theory. French bishop is the suck. Okay, uh, that requires um, that requires that statement requires modifications. Yeah, there is like so many there so many wrong things with that statement. Now, especially that I live in France, right? I have to be politically correct, guys. Uh, so uh, let's call it uh, the light squared bishop. All right. Okay, a five. Correct. But you see, the computer likes this h3, g4 plan, right? Okay. This knight on f5 is practically the only piece on the black side of the game that is well placed. So now he has to play something like queen c7, knight e7. Ooh. Oh, wait, knight goes to h6 maybe, yeah? Yeah, okay, king h2, g4, knight h6, king g3. That's the, how you protect the pawn with the king on g3. Do not be scared. And knight on c5, he just blocks the rook, right? And uh, incredible knight. So, again, huge advantage for white after g4. If black takes on g4, potentially mating attack on the h-file. Yeah, black is in a huge trouble. Knight g7 is correct because he protects the pawn with the knight. And prevents the opening of the king side. But for how long? Yeah, how long he will be able to do that? Ooh, unclear. Um, but white has to come up with a plan. I don't see the plan yet. I don't see it. Black wants to take on b4, take on c5, and take on a4. Potentially. Rook g1, going for the attack. Yeah, Fabi is, uh, is, uh, feeling like he's in an attacking mode, yeah? Interesting. Interesting. Um... Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But how is he going to attack? Okay, so black is taking c5, taking on a4, which is the only reasonable thing to do here. I don't see any other solution. d4 is a possibility. I mean, d4 is a possibility. Oh my god, he just goes for it. Wow. He wants to put this bishop here. But come on, it's the second extra pawn. And black has a huge problem because knight on g7 is bad, while white knights are actually very reasonably placed. So knight goes to e4, f6. The other guy can go to g5. I don't like bishop d4. I like knight e4 better because... Uh, yeah, because now you take on c5. Yeah, you should take this knight. Because knight can go to f6 and do very nasty things to black. Including uh, f5, queen h6 mate at some point. You should not allow this knight on e4. Definitely not. Okay. No, I don't have it to be there. I'm not at that level, guys. But I can understand what they're doing. I can understand that, what they're doing. Yeah? But my hands are slow. So uh, I, I am not... I don't, I don't belong there. Let's be real. Alright. So knight of 6... Knight g5, if king goes to f8, then knight g5 for bishop c5 check, right? Yeah, black is just lost, plus 6. Yeah, black is lost. Knight of 6, king h8, and the question is, probably not a 5, right? But knight g I like knight g5, I like knight g5. Followed by f5, 
Knight of seven, queen h6 mate. Yeah, I just, just completely lost. Rook c1. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Perfectly playable move. He has to play queen b7 anyway. Yeah, to avoid this thing. I like knight e8, but after b5, you just piece down. Ah, bishop e4, knight c7, yeah. Okay, knight e8 is the only chance, I agree. Knight e8 is the only chance. Preventing knight f6, preparing bishop e4, knight c7, giving up the queen, but at least some sort of the counterplay is born. Ooh, yeah, he plays queen b7 and is just now mate, yeah. It's just mate. Knight f6, knight g5, f5, knight f7, queen h6 mates. Knight g5. Come on. Ooh, f5 immediately. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like knight g5, but f5 still plus 6, yeah, still works. Okay, you're going to play the French now that you're living in France. Guys, I played French... Way before that, I played French against Tapalov. It's just that I considered some openings unlucky because I was getting great positions, but then I had a hard time uh, playing those uh, lines because it doesn't suit my style, okay? So, there is such thing as a lucky openings. There is such a thing. Uh, knight f5, g5, bishop f3, fg6, white is just winning, yes, yes, completely winning. Because there is g7, bishop g7, rook g7, king g7, queen g5, king f8, bishop c5, mate, and black just resigns, right? He can resign here. It's, it's not too not too late, not, not too early to resign, actually. Because there is no way black can hold this. Harold, my god, thank you, how are you? I'm not sure if it's congrats, but uh, it's... It's an upgrade from Russia, probably. At least everybody keeps saying so to me. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We will see, guys. What type of style does suit the French opening? The kind of style that is uh, ready to play crazy positions. Unbalanced crazy positions. Have to be very creative to play French. Why not Germany after all? Because um, I don't have support in Germany. I'm playing for the team. Oh, it's only plus two. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell happened? Uh, 98. And 5 is just uh, S8 uh, FG6 instead of GH5. And after Bishop F3, now suddenly only plus two, guys. Oh, uh, my God. And there's only one move that keeps the advantage for white. You know, immediately playing fg6 smacks of uh, disrespect to me. Yeah, he has five minutes. It's time to think. A lot of moves are winning here. He better find gh5. He better find that move. He finds it. Good. But still, it's only plus two. It's not really conclusive. Knight f6, ef6, king g8 is the only move. I agree. Because if knight of 6 g7 check immediately, yeah, then you have um, rook g7. Oh, the king ran away, of course. The king just runs away to h7. All right, so... Uh, what was played? fg6 was played, yeah? No. Did he really play fg6? Okay, I see. Okay, he probably did not see the king g8 move here, yeah? It's not so easy to see it because... Yeah, but then you have to see that you have to give up the rook. You have to give up so much stuff. And then you have to see this line with rook c7 check. My god. Yeah, okay, but this is insane line, yeah? This is insane. Yeah, he didn't see king g8. I can bet anything he didn't see this move. So he played... Um, yeah, but this is now completely lost. Queen f4 just lost. Yeah. Alright. Um, 
rook d4 queen d4 and black resigns right why does he resign queen h4 king g7 why is it so bad rook c f1 yeah okay that that that's probably one of the reasons and then 98 and queen f6 okay yeah not easy to see them so he played queen g7 but it's uh tantamount to resigning because it's plus 12. white is not even behind in material anymore he has got more material he's got rook and four pawns versus two bishops completely winning completely winning yeah, this is completely winning. You can hope for some tricks, but knight g4 just wins, yeah? Yeah, so that's probably, that could be one of the weaknesses of Firuja, right? He doesn't like to defend such positions. He has active playstyle, but he doesn't defend well uh, passive positions. So that, that could be something that he should work on. Okay, yeah, but you can resign. This is, uh, this is, yeah. I mean, it's, you can play till the end, but, uh, you know, when you're playing at the level of this, um, at this level, such positions are resignable, especially in Blitz. Rook f8, knight of seven, correct. Rook g5, a5, anything with... Extra exchange, more time on the clock. Yeah, the youngster should should actually resign here. There is no way he can draw this. All right. You will visit post COVID, okay, Harold? Hope so. Hello, guys. Knight of seven, correct. Rook f8 back, yeah. Rook f8 with the idea of rook h8 mates. Rook gg8. Just to be sure. Yeah, now you can resign. Now he's gonna resign. Come on. Come on. Yeah, now he resigned. Alright, congrats to Fabi for, you know, smooth win. Yeah. Yeah, Firuza didn't, um, yeah, he, he didn't survive the opening, yeah. He had some that little chance at the very end. He had the chance, but he didn't see it. It was computer, computer move, King G8. Very hard to see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a impressive game. Yeah, very, very positional. That's how the experienced guys beat the young talents. That's the perfect example. The experienced beats the talents. Oh my God, not that sound, please. Um, All right, um, what do we have here? We have Blitzstream, we have Spanish, Chess24, we have Anna Chess, we have Chess Sport, Chess Comru, and uh, who else we have? Um, we have Hushenbeth, or Hushenbeth, we have St. Louis Chess Club, King's Crusher, Mercy, Tranquilizer. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's trade. Let's let's trade um, our favorite Three League of Legends. Pick the person with the lowest viewers. <laughs> and we're ready, right? God. Oh my God. Oh, thank you so much, Gata, for the raid with any people. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Gata. Can we get a huge shout out to Gata Komsky, though? I hope your title Tuesday went great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. I'm just like a really scrub chess player playing against subs and viewers today. So if you guys want a game, uh, you can join the Discord queue. I'll be opening up to just viewers can challenge me anytime later, but for right now, we're just going through um, my sub queue, as always. So, 
Yeah, Shane is fucking legend. I really appreciate the rate, Gata. I hope everything's going well for you. <laughs> you guys came at a great time, too. I was just, like, roasting uh, one of my long-